Yeah, we here. Fuck is you talking about? Yeah, I'm here with Trey. AP, what's good, man? This is Watch the Tune, a new podcast. Uh, I'm your host, Cash Cup Productions, and we are your regulars here on the show, man. Say what's good, man. Shout your, shout your shows out and all that shit, what's man. What's good, man? It's AP from the Tone, man. Fat Money AP. About to get it in. Doing new shit for the city every new day. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Got my man Trey here. Yeah, man. It's your boy Trey, you know. I'm out here doing this podcast too, you know. We're gonna try to get it big. We're gonna talk about some good, great things that's coming up soon. Um, but yeah, man, we're gonna see what, where it's gonna lead to from here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, first we're gonna talk about that weak ass weed you have a smoke, bro. In I'm, the not back. Gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. I was disappointed in it too. I even said afterwards, I was like, man. I said right after we did it, I was like, man, we should have. I should probably should have rolled another one because it was so weak. But he yeah. said it was some Girl Scouts, but it wasn't. I don't know what that was. <laughs> that's what he said. That's what he said. Some Girl Scouts, man. I have a theory, bro. I have a lot of theories in my head, but my new theory about this weed, bro, is it's, it's not weed, bro. Niggas is not smoking THC. Niggas is smoking that CBD weed. Yeah. CBD is, is definitely flooding the city right now. Yeah, you know who made me smoke some CBD? I was with a fucking Dom up in Austin. We went to some smoke shop. This nigga's like, he saw everything below. They had everything. They had like edibles and shit like that, all type of shit. Man, this, this nigga bought, paid like $40 for an eighth, bro. Bro, we smoked that shit. Nothing. Nothing. Just like some regular San Antonio weed. But I feel like. You know, getting high now was so different from getting high back then when we was younger, like first starting smoking type shit. Like, you feel me? Like this, I feel like the high lasted so much longer. The like pack I remember, is not the pack no more. Like it's not the same, bro. I remember smoking at my friend's house and not being able to go to my back home till like nighttime. And even if I do come home, my mom gonna look at me in the eyes and say, "You've been smoking." So it's like, I feel like, you know, back then I was high all day. All 14, 15, I was high all day. Now it's just like, it'll be like an hour or two. Well, Hopefully. I mean, that, that part of that is your tolerance, but it's, the weed is just not the same. Bro. It's not, I, I really feel like they're extracting this THC out of this weed before it, it get to the product, like, before the product get to the people. They devaluing it, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I don't know how to describe it. I don't know how they're doing this shit. Doing this shit. This weed that we getting is the same shit. Depends on where you're getting it from. Now, you can get some weed that is like the wackest weed ever. But I don't seen some weed that look bad smoke good. So it really just depends on where you get it from. Because yeah. I, re- I prefer to get my weed from Cali. Or no, I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, I really get mine from Colorado. From I don't. Cali, I don't dude. want it from Colorado. Everybody, I, I would rather get my weed from Colorado. Let me let me switch that up because I would rather Colorado. Weed. I think that weed better. Cali weed is like played out now. Everybody can get it. You can get it for cheap. And then the ones that said it's good weed, it don't even be that good really. Shit, I feel like because um, I've been in San Antonio for like three, four years already. I feel like when I first came here, everybody was smoking Reggie. Reggie. No lie. He was not hearing nothing no about lie. no gas. None of that shit, bro. That shit was... Yeah. It was nothing but Reggie. Like, niggas had access. It's a, it's, it's all about who you, who you got access to your product. Like, who has access to your product before you get it. Because... You already know some shicey motherfuckers is going is going to take all the best shit for themselves, and then they going to sell the bullshit. That's how it means to end up with bullshit. Yeah, I remember uh, my first time getting high. No, my first time I had some bad weed, and I don't know what the fuck it was. It could have been some Reggie. It could have been something, bro. I was in probably in like eighth grade with my homies, my white boys. We at the park smoking. Smoking out of a fucking, it looked like a magnum. It looked like the, a revolver. It's a pipe, but it looked like a revolver. So boom, we smoking out of that. And then, yeah, yeah, that shit was fire though. So I'm walking home and then all of a sudden, everything just starts spinning to the left. Like, 
Like, I couldn't stop. Even if I closed my eyes, I still felt shit spinning, bro. So I don't know what the fuck, like, that shit was. But for real, bro. Went to sleep, woke up with a... Went to sleep, woke up with a fever and everything, bro. I'm going to tell y'all a real good experience. I don't know about his. But one time, man, and this is only one time, I had a homeboy. Well, I ain't even going to say the nigga my homeboy because after he did that, nigga, I damn near wanted to kill a dude. So we sitting there. He said, hey, man, you want to match a blunt? And I'm like, hell yeah. You know, everybody want to match a blunt. So we get to smoke, and he pulled out this little bag, and it said Kush on it. I never really paid attention to the shit. I'm just like, all right, look like some weed. He rolling up with fat blunt, so we gonna smoke. You know what I'm saying? So we get to smoking this shit. Well, first, I smoked my blunt first, because nigga had to roll his shit. So mm-hmm. I smoked my blunt. I'm already feeling good. But we know we matching, so it's, you know we about to go crazy now. So we smoking the second one. Man, when I say we smoked probably like half of the blunt, we started playing 2K, and I couldn't focus in on the game because... Do whatever the weed she had me smoking wasn't real weed. It was fake. It was like yeah. that K, yeah, that K two shit. Man, when I tell you my heart started beating so fucking fast, nigga. That nigga's so on I'm his smoking shit. Play the game, nigga. I'm like, man, what the fuck? He over there laughing and shit, beat my ass because I can't focus. <laughs> like the game just, I could not focus in on the TV for some odd reason. Yeah. And like, I just felt like I was in a movie. So I'm thinking, I was like, man, you laced the blunt. He's like, nah, man, you tripping. I was like, no, nah, I ain't tripping. This weed got me tripping, man. You didn't put something in this damn weed. Like, I can't even focus. Like, this shit tripping me up. So, long story short, man, I ain't going to lie to y'all, man. I had to call a, I had to call a motherfucking ambulance on myself because I was mm. so <laughs> I was scared they of They pulled me. up on his ass with, like, a carton of milk. Was like, man, man, I ain't going to lie to you. When they pulled up on me, I'm in the shower. I'm in a cold shower. Like, I'm just tripping. Like, this shit had me bugging up. I bought heartbeat fast. I bought a phone by Pops and shit. Like, man, I, I think I fucked up today. He was like, man, get in the cold shower. So I got in the cold shower when the ambulance came. By the time they came, I was already soaking wet, you know what I'm saying, with cold water all over me. They was looking like, what's going on? I was like, man, I, I had smoked some weed. <laughs> that like, pan should be fucking me yeah, up, too. Nah, like, that- yeah, nigga, the shit, the shit I shit. hit, the shit I hit in the whip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too much of that shit. Bro. Yeah, that shit gonna take you on a whole little ride. Bro, I don't even be smoking that shit, bro. That yeah. shit. Some, some, it ain't real. It's like something in it. I can't do it. Some nigga at work be trying to have me hit his nicotine vape. Nah, leave that nicotine and shit alone, bro. Leave that shit alone. Y'all ask me high on that shit. Shit, my first, nigga, my first time getting stupid, dumb high, like. Let me hit that hold up. I was smoking that down Afghan Kush, my nigga Sean from New York. Yeah, yeah, he, he was bringing me weed to school and shit. And he, had, he That's how you finesse a nigga how to get high. Yeah, let me hit nigga, that one time, one time. This nigga brought me some Afghan Kush, bro. <laughs> hit it about and three I, times. I saved it for the weekend to go smoke with, with the homies on the north side. And we pull up at this girl crib, we rolling up and shit before we go to the party. We hotbox that bitch, like, you know what I'm saying? Before we get get going to the party, nigga, this girl is sitting on my lap. Next thing I know, this bitch arms start melting in front of me. Like, I'm looking at her arm and it's like melting, literally. Like, <coughs> like bitch, you know your arm is melting? Yeah, that shit hit your ass. <coughs> For real, bro. Nigga, I had to hot ass air. Nigga, I had to hop up out that, how to hop up out that fucking hotbox, bro. I'm not fucking with that shit. Nigga, I was too dumb. That Afghan shit closed my lungs up and shit. <coughs> I don't smoke like y'all niggas, man. Y'all niggas be blowing gas. I don't know. I, don't know. I smoke when I need to. I smoke half a blunt and throw that shit away. Come back the next day, come looking for it in the grass. But yeah, man, so, hey, what y'all think about, like, social media nowadays and shit, like, how it's affecting people, like, when it comes to, man, you know, you whether see, it's... I can't get logged into my shit, like, I've been trying to log into this shit, my backup shit, so... Yeah, but I'm talking about, like, media is. I'm talking about, like, when there's, like, relationships and shit like that, business, like, how you think social media plays social a Social media part? and relationships don't mix at all. For mm-hmm. real. She was like an Instagram couple or some shit, a YouTube couple, and y'all pranking each other every yeah. day, pissing each other off. But that shit still might not even work because you don't even know what's going down behind the scenes. That shit. Why is that check good? Nah, I check better be good. Yeah. 
see I see everybody on that Steph Curry and Aisha shit. Since he did bring up basketball, this is a, a Laker Nation uh, thing over here. We don't go for the Spurs. We don't go for Houston, Golden State, none of them other teams. If you ain't a Laker, you're a faker, and you heard it from me. Where the Lakers at right now, bro? Uh, we at home, but who your team? He said he a Raptor fan, but he liked the DeRosa. DeRosa went to the Spurs, and the Spurs are at home. Kawhi Leonard is probably the best player the Raptors had since Vince Carter. So, we gonna be, we going to be real. Like <laughs> I know my NBA history. All right. I'm not going to talk because I don't watch basketball like that. I understand. I understand. (laughs) But I know when it comes down to 2K, man, you know, I'm whooping niggas with the Raptors. Yeah, you pull out the Raptors. I will still get the Lakers with LeBron James, and we going to win. You did. Kawhi is not going to be able to handle LeBron. The Rose and Kyle Lowry, splash, splash, splash. Kyle Lowry is trash. He like a five-foot, three trash point guard. No lie, no. Hey, back to the social media shit, though. You know what I hate? When um, fucking people... I'm not going to lie. I be doing this sometimes, but I hate when people just, like, update you on everything that they doing. Everything. Everything. Mm-hmm. And it don't even be okay. shit that they did, Okay, bro. baby, thank you. I'm sorry. Niggas just updating, bro, like, giving you ideas and shit. Like, I think I seen a post, like, two, three days ago. Somebody was like... Facebook is not the place for ideas and shit. You seen some shit like that? I forgot who said it. I would have shout you out, but I forgot who said it. No, no, no. I did ask forgot who said it. I feel like people overuse this social media shit, not just because they just post whatever on there. They just, I feel like they don't use it for the right shit. Like, you could use that shit for so much more, but we just using it for just day-to-day shit. We could be using that shit to organize and, you know what I'm saying, come together and shit, but... Niggas are just using that shit just to just to BS basically. Ain't nothing wrong with that because it's social media. Do what you want on your shit, but like, let's start using utilizing this shit. Stop just using the shit. It utilizing shit. Yeah, like, um, especially when it comes to business and shit. Like, when, if you put your mind to that shit, you'll find customers and shit. Just like drug dealing, niggas who drug deal on Facebook, you know, wake up every morning. Who needed? Who needed? Who needed? Nigga, I do that shit for videos, like. It's the same shit. It's not hard. Like, market yourself. Like, there's so many businesses and shit out here that you can do from nothing. Start from nothing, you feel me? Like he said, if you want to do it, put your mind to it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, niggas nowadays don't be trying to hustle and shit. It's not hard, bro. Like, it's not hard. To be honest, mainly is invest in yourself. You invest in yourself and do everything for yourself. I mean, you can't go wrong if you put money into yourself versus you spending all your time putting money into something or working at a job that you working for them, you're not benefiting from. Yeah, you getting paid, but what's your benefit? Are you going to grow? Are you going to the next step? Are you going to be a manager? Are you about to own a company? If you're not about to do that, then you should put money into yourself. Make your own company. Yeah. I think what you're getting into, though, bro, you're talking about people that's on Facebook just to be on there and then claim that they want to do other shit, but they still doing the same shit on Facebook. Is that more? No, nah, I'm just talking about people just putting energy into social media the wrong way when you could put it towards this and have the same type of outcome. Like, you, you know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about Facebook trapping and shit like that. Right. So, like, it's the same thing as I do. I wake up, type, who needs videos, who needs photo shoots, getting niggas in the inbox, asking the same thing. Like, it's the same shit, bro. But, I mean, like, when you when you go that far, like, people that are really about to hustle, you know what I'm saying? Like, people that's really about to grind, like, like Ron Hawk. Not only does he do video, I mean, not, not videos, not only does he make beats, but he does electrician work, he does handyman work. So you'll see him on Facebook, you know what I'm saying? He'll, he'll be dropping his... You know what I'm saying? He'll be dropping his his beats on there. He'll drop his social media. He'll drop his his work, his electrician work that he does, his handyman work that he does. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about the individual. Like, how are you? How is how is people really getting money out here? Because that's what it come down to. You know what I'm saying? Like, is you just is you really about your hustle? If you're an artist, are you are you making music because you wanna you wanna have a hot song out? Or are you making music because you want to use this as something to put money in your pocket. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Establish a, 
establish a lifestyle for yourself. And not only that, you know what I'm saying? Not only is it does that apply to music artists, but it applies to producers, models, you know what I'm saying? If you're a model and you just posting thirst traps on Snapchat and on your private snap and on Facebook all day on your story on Instagram. Like, yeah, For like real. Be about your hustle. Selling like, out poop time. You know what I'm be about premium, your hustle. premium Snapchat. If you re- if you really want to be a model, you should be reaching out to agencies. Yes, sir. You should be. You should have products and shit lined up. You should have. If you're an artist, you should have sponsors. You should have. You know, that's just how I feel. You should really. Are you just a Facebook artist? Are you just doing this for your for your like your little your little team with your little partners and shit? Or is you trying to? really go global with this shit. You trying to accomplish something. Cause I'll tell you right now, a lot of people f- fall off with this music shit because they don't have their goals in line. Like mm-hmm. you ask somebody like what you wanna get what you wanna do with this music shit, they gonna tell you, Oh shit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the best artist. But like well, how you gonna how you gonna get there though? That's what I wanna know. Gotta put in the work. How niggas is gonna get there. Yeah, yeah. I will tell you right now, just having a hot song, that's not gonna cut it no more. Just having the hottest song in the city, we didn't see that. We didn't see niggas have hot songs in the city. Yeah. We didn't see niggas put big niggas on their songs in the city and still didn't make still, no ain't, and still ain't follow up with it. You paid five bands five for a feature for and feature. you didn't make no money. Nobody heard the song. You didn't make a video. Yeah, you didn't make a video. All you did was That's make a song and put up. it on ain't Facebook. Get no cash and cut production down, people video. Don't believe that this dude you on your up. song. I'll be real with you. It's a lot of people that sound like Wayne. So if you said you got a verse with Wayne, you gotta have some proof. Where the video? Where, where is your proof that you really made a song with this person? You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people. A lot of rappers that sound like other rappers. So that's what most of y'all get stuck in. You got another rapper that you swear that you paid for, but you have nothing to show for. No facts. You didn't make no video. Y'all ain't got no picture together. If y'all do got a picture, it's a picture of y'all at the mall. It's like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <That's what I'm laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You was yeah. at the beat and greet and got the picture. Hey, uh, you paid, the thing, you paid wanna, for that picture. The other thing I want to talk on, talk, uh, touch on is all these artists that's coming out and sounded like other artists. Like, bro, like, how are you going to come out biting somebody else's style, bro? Like, I don't know what part of the game that is, but I, I noticed a lot of people doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really feel like if you're going to take the time to be an artist, you need to develop your own sound. Don't be grabbing these these uh, Drake-type beats, rapping on them, sounding like Drake and motherfucking Lil Baby and NBA Youngboy. And be the top ones. And be the top ones. Lil Baby and Gunna. Everybody want to rap like Lil Baby and Gunna. But at the same time, you know, you never know. They could be looking up to these niggas, listening to them all the time, you know. And when it hits the studio, it just happens, you know. So, you know, it's two sides to it. You know, I, I, I could say it's some niggas that bite certain niggas. But, you know, if I'm only listening to Gunna and Lil Baby, I'm going to end up sounding like one of them. But in my own way still. I mean, I'm, I, I challenge people because, like, what is, what are you, like, like I said, what is you really trying to accomplish out of this? Like, is you trying to make a song so you could sound like another nigga that has already that already got hit songs? Or are you trying to ride, make your own way? Like, that's what I, that's what I'm getting at. Make your own way. Make your own style. Like, yeah, but how do you make your own way? You gotta put artists. you gotta put the time in, bro. That's where. What I does that like, mean, bro? I that like, don't mean shit. Yes, it does. It really does. Cause I feel like niggas switch over to this to this rap lane and think this shit is sweet and like, okay, nigga, I'm a rapper now. I'ma make a song and I'ma I'm a, like they try to fast track their way to the top. Like you trying to you trying to No it's not authentic, bro. It's just not authentic to me. Yeah. Like I, I need to see you putting that time, like is you you rapping cause to me, when you rap and shit and you use somebody else's style, it makes it easier for you, like your cadences and shit. Like you don't you don't have to really think about what you're saying. You can use somebody else's lingo, you can use somebody else's uh way of thinking. They the way they put their songs together, and you could just put all that shit together. You know what I'm saying? It could be some shit that you done did, but at the same time, you're not putting that time in to develop your sound and 
chances are you you going to end up like capping in your shit, capping in your song, trying to sound like somebody else. Mm -hmm. Like, um, that's the best way I could put it. I feel like it's hard to just get up and make your own way. Like, I feel like, you know, somebody, somebody going to say you sound like somebody. Nah, true. That is true, though. That is true. But Regardless. I think if you put in the time, like, like when Gunna came out, nobody was, nobody was really saying he was rapping like somebody else. I don't feel like, you know what I'm saying? When, when Gates came out, nobody was rapping like Gates. Nobody was rapping like, I mean, I don't know, but it's, if you really want to set yourself apart from everybody else, you can't be sounded like nobody else. Yeah, so, I, so. I really wouldn't even listen to nobody else. Just so I won't get any type of influence. But, you know, I'm not an artist. This is why I shoot the videos. Because it's more diverse. I could do this, 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 this. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's more diverse. What you think, bro? How you think? How you think niggas is coming on these tracks? They some biters. If you can't come up with your own style, your own way. But how you come up with your own style? I'm going to tell you how you come up with your own style. I'm about to I'm gonna break it down to you. Did Biggie sound like pop? No, right? Did Jay Z sound like Biggie? Chief Keith. No. Dude, Boosie that sound like Webby? No. See, now he's just breaking up people on this. And Young <laughs> Thug don't <laughs> sound like, uh, let's see, J. Cole. I'm from the North, so he said Boosie and Webby. Of... That's over my head. I don't listen to him. Man. <laughs> We're gonna be real with you. Even if even if you're not from the South, you're gonna bang with Boosie, man. He he's just too hard. If you listen to his old stuff. Yeah, now, yeah, I don't know about now, I'm gonna be real with you. He got out of jail with a little poop. And I was a Boosie head. Like that's all I listened to is Boosie and Webby. When he came out, it was just it's about different. Gucci. Oh yeah, I'm I'm still goo You know what I'm saying? Even though he a clone, you know what I mean? I still <laughs> <laughs> I still listen to Gucci though. Gucci's still good. I mean I can't say Gucci fell out because Gucci always changed his rap. You know what I'm saying? I always listen to Gucci. I listened to Gucci when he first came out. Mixtapes, everything. So I still fuck with Gucci, but about these rappers sounding different. You can sound different. It's easy. Make your own way. Just like Silka Shaka. Trash. Couldn't rap on beat, but people swear he was cold because he was different. Mm -hmm. Blueface. Trash. Trash. But he different. But he trash. We're going to be real. I mean, that's just my honest opinion. He boo boo. He garbage. Yeah, no. I mean, he got some flow, though. I'm going to be real. The nigga got flow. Not on beat, and some of the shit just don't make sense. Yeah. But he, uh, he, he's more like a free form. Yeah, like rap. he want to freestyle no everything. You got to write, <laughs> write something. No <laughs> yeah. yeah. Be, like that dude, uh, what's his name? Ugly God? Y'all seen Ugly? Y'all heard of Ugly yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga kind of fire. Ugly than a motherfucker. But the nigga fire, though. No lie, no cap. I heard some of that nigga shit and I fuck with it. I'm dripping your bitch like water. Yeah. I, like I said, me personally, I wouldn't. Um... Y'all think that clone shit is true? Niggas yeah. cloning niggas like, like, like we said, Gucci and shit. Y'all think that shit's true? I don't think that shit's true. I don't think niggas is cloning. I'm going to say... That and it was in there. They definitely had a technology to make this shit happen. We know they that's, definitely do. We know that's true. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so what's to stop somebody like you know what I'm saying? If I give you a new camera, what's to stop you from going out and shooting a motherfucking music video? Like you know what I'm saying? Nothing really. Nothing's gonna stop you from doing that shit. If you if you know you can do this shit, then you gonna do it. Period. So. But why him? For what? Shit, he got influence for one. You know what I'm saying? It's like he got that influence that they that they need. You know what I'm saying? That the powers need. So they know if they got Gucci, they got the streets. Got the streets. So everybody want to be in the streets. So that that gives them. I feel like that gives them enough motive, enough incentive to go ahead and try this shit. You, you you got rappers that come out and tell you that that they clones. Let's say dude named Kid Boo or something like that. Came out. But who the fuck is he though? Like nobody knew who he was. Don't so know. don't nobody really know none of these rappers. And he really popped out at, at the 
peak of when niggas was talking about clones. But you don't really know none of these rappers, like, at all. Like, we don't know shit about these people. Yeah, We but. just listen to their music, like, you know what I'm saying? They just, we listen to the music that they push to us, you know what I'm saying? Whether you on the radio, you listen to the radio or not, you still gonna hear that number one song that everybody been talking about. You gonna hear it. Somebody gonna play it. Somebody around you gonna play it. You might not even wanna hear it, and they still, you still gonna end up hearing that shit. So, hey, <clears throat> you niggas be popping up out of nowhere. Where does nigga Takashi Six Nine come from? Well, who knows? Where this, old this nigga was. Fruitless. Yeah, where does nigga? Three Six Nine. I don't know where he came from. Ratatouille. Rainbow, Rainbow Ratatouille. Like, yeah. You know, but you, any person come in with Rainbow and they hear you automatically off top. You just, bro. hey, I'm just going to be honest. If Dennis Rodman couldn't do it, bro, yo ass definitely can't do it. Like, he ain't do it? He, he did, did it. But he didn't niggas wasn't letting that shit slide, though. Ain't nobody going to let that shit slide. So. Ain't no way around it. Ain't, we still not letting. Even though the industry is, the hip hop and, and rap industry is fucked no, up, not, we not letting that shit slide. They say that this is wrong, people will stop coming out and saying that they gay and doing homosexual things. But since they agree with it and saying it's okay, they're going to continuously do it. Yes, there's probably a lot of gay people that run the music industry. I'm just letting you know. If you let them know that you're not agreeing with it, they're not going to come out and say that. They're not going to keep trying to push that out to the world. Don't they bring don't. that shit to Texas. Fuck all that. Y'all keep that shit where it's at. We don't want that shit going on. Fuck all that. Rainbow all right. Head. Rainbow head. All right, we're going to take a quick commercial break, man. All right, and we're back. It's Cash Cut, the host with the most. I'm here with Trey and AP. So, so what's up, man? Back for part two of this inauguration podcast. Once again, this is, what are we calling it? Watch, nah, watch your tone. Watch yeah. your tone. Watch the tone. Watch the tone. <laughs> watch the tone. Watch the tone. Yeah. Watch your tone. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> who's y'all top? Who's y'all favorite artist in the city right now? Um, okay, I give you three of my favorite artists. And we talking about niggas from San Antonio, not niggas. Yeah, uh, from no, San Antonio. I just came from San Antonio, from Houston type uh, shit. Niggas. My boy Darius. Shout out to my boy Darius. He good in the tone, straight up. Where no he cap. go by? Darius Laird. Go by okay. his his last name. Original type of rapper, you know, none of that. I shot you in the back three times. Rapper name. <laughs> but nah, uh, D Glad. I listen to D Glad and I listen to Stone. So that's my three rappers that I say in San Antonio that I know for a fact is from San Antonio. Yeah. What about you, bro? Man, bro, when it comes to artists in the city, bro, I gotta, I gotta say my top artist, it's my little brother, Reek Sav. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my little brother. He been rapping. They got the group Ivy from the North Side. You know what I'm saying? And uh, shit, I gotta go with my nigga Russian, Russian Red. You know what I'm saying? We doing them numbers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout yeah, out sure. that nigga Russian. Yeah, man. I, Russia Red, the realest rapper. He the first artist that actually wanted me to start managing him, so that's why I rock with my nigga Russian, cause we coming out the same, out the same section, all that shit. Like we really rocking. And then I throw another artist up there with them two niggas that's on my level. I, I fuck with Peso, like Peso is just nice, bro. Like I like the shit he did. All the his, all the shit he did with Vino is just. It's just nice, bro. He's a nice artist. Yeah. Fuck with peso. peso. <laughs> Two, $200 uh, soda. $200 soda? Yeah. Man, that shit, dog. That shit was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I that nigga that. know what's up. Peso. Shit. Niggas I fuck with. Um, peso, definitely. Chico. Chico, Big Benji. Oh, yeah. Chico is nice. Chico. I think Chico going hard. Um, Free Vaughn. Oh, yeah. Free uh, Dirty. Definitely. Um... I got on my playlist And we just talking about Niggas that I know Cause I don't know Too many rappers out here um, It's a lot of good artists though Yeah yeah yeah, yeah No a doubt lot. It's a lot out there I'm talking about niggas I fuck with Ludacid Oh yeah My nigga Ludacid 
No, I'm saying we could throw yeah, skip. I'm probably missing some skip niggas. My bad if I'm missing. Like, I know skip the boss. I know. Yeah, skip. I'll be real with you. I haven't heard none of skip music, but I do know him. I'm gonna be Nigga, real. I was playing skip shit in the car like yesterday. Yeah. On the, on the no way cap. to work. <laughs> the whole album. Oh, then I'm tripping. Then I heard some of that skip <laughs> shit then now. <laughs> <laughs> But now nah, though, I mean, on some real shit, I know it's a lot of local artists in San Antonio. Y'all be looking for a spot to, you know what I'm saying, record your music. Also, you, I know y'all want to do interviews and things like that. So we have an area that you can actually do that. We yep. have a place where you can pull up, you can do studio, you can have interviews. If you want to have an event, you want to have a show, you can have a show here. Y'all you know, just got to reach out to us so that way we can give y'all the time. information. You want to record, you know, studio All time. That. You want to make shirts, you know. It's... It's for everybody. Uh, we right here at, uh, what's it called? On the block. We right here on the block. On the, block. on the block. It's called the block. <laughs> we gonna put the address in the description because we don't know the address yet. So. No, I know the address. Oh, you do? All right, what's the address? Hey, man, I know everything. I know everything. It's gonna be 329 Arkansas Avenue, San Antonio, Texas, 782. Yup, pull up. 210 is the area code. You know what I'm saying? 210 is your area code. And uh, if y'all look for us on Instagram, it's going to be that Media One Event Hub. Y'all can look us up, add us followers. You know what I'm saying? If you're looking for somewhere, um, yeah, my bad. If y'all looking for somewhere, you know what I'm saying, do some studio time, or even, y'all know what I'm saying, you want to do an interview, you know what I'm saying, go ahead and hit us up on Instagram. You can call us. You can book a section. Mm-hmm. Um, we got an event center. Pretty much we got everything here, you know what I'm saying. If you want to even get produced, we got a producer here that you can work with as well. Yeah, yeah. So basically, what we're trying to do is we're trying to bring everybody together. Like, I know everybody says that they're trying to bring the city together, bring the city together. Like, we really trying to bring the city together. It's Bro, not, we got the one stop shop. Like, one stop shop. Whatever you're trying to do, Come first of all, anytime. First of all, you need to hit us up. Whatever you're trying to do in this music shit, you need to hit our line because we gonna we gonna support you all the way. We got the promo teams. We got. The video teams, we got the marketing teams, we got everything, bro. Y'all just got to come through and be about business because when it's time to, you know what I'm saying, put the pedal to the metal, people be like, oh, well, hold up, bro. Let me uh get things. In. Nah, bro, it ain't none of that. We we doing this shit. Yeah. Taking over the city. Yeah, you got to invest in yourself, man. So that means you got to spend money to make money in whatever you do. We got the, we got the studio, radio station. This radio station that we recording at right now, you can actually you can get paid off 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 having your music on here. This this includes this is included in your uh in your how do you say that shit? <clears throat> if you got your, <clears throat> if you got your ass cap and BMI, we could play your shit on the radio and you will you will get points for you know what I'm saying for your shit playing on our radio station. You know what I'm saying? We'll put your put your song on rotation here at the radio station. Mm-hmm. You can actually make money off of just having your shit playing in rotation here at the radio station. We got the recording studio. We shoot music videos, promo videos, concert videos. All that. Setting All up, that. Setting up shows for the artists. Like, we, we will set you up a show. Like, we will put together you a crowd. We will set you up a show. Y'all just got to come through and be about business. That's what we're looking for. Out here. Yes. Hey, I want to give a shout out to uh, TNL Promotions. Yeah, and Money shout Hunger Promotions um, as well. But do shout know. out TNL Promotions. Shout out my boy um, Boss Promotions. We're going to talk about uh, what you going to call it? Setting the Tone, that comedy show. I went, yeah. it was straight. It was straight. I recorded that shit. It was straight. Um, <laughs> We gonna be real. Nah, it was. <laughs> he gonna sit here and a lot of y'all say it was straight, but nah, 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 it was. Be bro, real. you was, was there. It was sad. straight, like show wise, show wise, show wise. Because people, sad. look, I'm gonna, be, I'm, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I'm gonna be real. With y'all. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> Hold up, before he talk his shit, I'm gonna be real with y'all. Nobody showed up. Nobody showed up. But the show Facts. overall, for Facts. for what the show was, like nobody, you know, playing like it was really all, playing like that. All, but it was improv. First of all, y'all not gonna improv. do my nigga down like that. Nah, bro, I'm not even knocking him. I'm you saying the show was straight. Up. You said oh, bro, up. bro, you seen all them chairs, bro. <laughs> okay, but I told y'all that from the jump. Like we didn't need that many chairs. Like 
We ain't need bro, that many chairs. We just trying chairs. to pack that shit out, though. I feel you, but like, hey, I'm not going to try to stun on Dom, but we going to be 100. They had 50 chairs on the ground, but only five people was in the chair. He said they ain't need that many <laughs> nah, chairs. Nah, it was no five. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't five. <laughs> Baby, I was exaggerated. Maybe I went too far. Baby, okay, we going to say 10.